Hey everybody, I'm so happy you can be here for the final part of my grandfather's story. He calls it Goddardammerung. I don't know why it's got all those dots above the letters. I'm not sure how that's supposed to make it sound any different than what you'd say normally. Uh, I'm not going to do a French accent because I can't do a French accent, but this is the French lady talking to my grandpa, and she said in the pandemonium of your assault, the Germans hastily loaded the sabotage gyroscope into the rocket for an immediate launch. Dr. Gronick knows what you're up to, so he's quietly made an exit, along with someone named Werner von Braun. You can look him up on Wikipedia. He's a pretty awesome dude. Before he departed, Gronick did you a big favor. He cut the communications cable between Nordhausen's command center and the launch gantry. It goes without saying, but the gantry will be heavily defended. Heavily defended is a way, my grandpappy said, infinite spawning Nazis. You've got to make it down there, Patterson. It's the only place to manually launch the rocket. You'll find a set of auxiliary controls. Wow, that's a weird word for me to say. Inside the blockhouse. Begin the launch sequence from there. I, I'm breathing in at weird times. Let's try this again. With the communications cut, there will be no way for the command center to stop it. If you were successful in sabotaging the gyro, the V2 should go into gimbal lock just seconds after launch. Would it surprise you to know that I know what gimbal lock means? Stay inside the blockhouse. It's been reinforced to survive explosions of this magnitude. When the rocket comes crashing down on top of you, ironically, it will be the only safe place in all of Nordhausen. Bon chance, my dear friend. Good luck. I don't know why she sounds like that. Maybe she was a man in disguise, like Grandpa Simpson. My grandpa did not make it through Nazi Germany dressing up as a woman. That just wouldn't be his way. This is, without a doubt, the most difficult part of my grandpappy's mission. And it was also, boom, the most exciting. Because he got to kill himself a whole mess of Nazis. And if you weren't aware, run away, Grandpa. This is not running away. This is tactical positioning. He is just setting himself up. Okay. Nazis can resist gunfire, apparently. This is something that they do not teach you in basic training. You have to adapt on the run. They say that no mission survive no you do not get to bazooka my grandpappy now that's a field surgeon kit we probably don't want to pick that up right now when i mentioned infinitely spawning nazis i was not kidding die die wow we are really dead now what you have to do here is ow whoa that was probably not oh that was none too pleasant right there there you're dead let's see if we can do this this is an incredibly difficult level to uh, get through with three stars. I've only done it, I think, twice in my life. Oh my, run away. Do you spawn behind me? That's not cool. Or did you walk around? I didn't see you walk around. Let's ignore these guys and go kill us these guys. And I know you're going to think they're the same guys, but Nazis are tricky, and sometimes a change in perspective is all it takes for them to uh, disappear. Now, where are you? I can hear your footsteps. You're over there. Ah! Right through that. Now, watch this. You want to see some German engineering? Look at that. It takes, for some reason, I think there's a glitch in the game, because even when I... When Grandpappy was telling me the story the first time, before he would, you know, you'd think he was making stuff up, those boxes took two bazooka blasts in order to breach. Ugh, oh, why did I do that? There, you're dead. Give me this. I Get off of that. Get off of there. There we go, that's what I wanted. Now I feel much better. Head down here, there's gonna be... If I'm lucky, there's going to be a really stupid Nazi right over that ways. If I'm lucky, but it doesn't look like I'm getting too lucky yet. Where are you? Come on, show yourselves. Here, I know a way to make you show yourselves. Have one of these. Was that good? Nope, you're still here somewhere. Ooh, just over the edge. 
Uh, this is not the right gun for this. Holy crap. Someone figured out how to use a bazooka. Where are you? I can't get too close over there. Let's go back upstairs here. You can just barely make it back up here. Get off of the wall. Get off the wall. Oh my gosh, get off the wall. There we go. Grandpapit did not have this much trouble getting up the wall. I don't know why my voice went all high pitched right there. Did you know my grandpappy told me that in World War II they used to give uh, soldiers in the United States military, as well as the British military and probably some other places too, amphetamines to get them going? Why? Why is this... Whoa! I'm clipping. I'm clipping through everything. All I want to do is get upstairs. This is not working. Why is this being such an issue? Okay, jump, jump. Let's try this again. Let's switch weapons. Maybe maybe it's the the gun getting in the way. Look at look at I, oh oh don't no no don't don't be clipping. Okay, there we go. Stop it. You wanna be starting something? You got to be starting something. Don't Ugh Why oh well, you know what? Screw it. Grandpappy didn't need no field surgeon kit to kill himself some Nazis. Where are you? Oh my. There you are. Found you, you little jerk. Okay. So now we come up here and this guy, can we sneak up on him? Apparently not. Oh, that didn't work so well. No, nope, you gotta get a little bit further than that. Grandpa. You can't shoot me. Okay, that was too far. Can we maybe go for something a little bit in the middle? Man, you'd think that Sarge never taught me how to throw a grenade. Okay, there we go. That should maybe do it. Yeah, that's what I like to see. That is one dead Nazi scientist. Hey, you know what? I don't think I have ever gone up over there. I probably should have tried that. Alright, let's get a good view. Pull out a grenade. This is my security grenade. It makes me feel good. And let's look up into the sky. That looks like an Atari game, doesn't it? Except for the, you know, V2 rocket standing right there. But up there, it's beautiful. Light bright, light bright. Unlock the power of magic lights. Light bright, light bright. Do any of you even know what light bright is? I'm probably talking to an audience that's too young for me. Of course, I'm telling you a story about World War II, so... I guess we can assume that maybe you're interested in historical things. Watch this. Boom. Now, my granddad, he's an aerospace engineer, and so he can expertly program that rocket to go straight up. Hi, guys. Here. Have a grenade. Oh, you ran away. And look. Right back down again. Oh, that is loud. I wonder if my grandpappy has some hearing trouble. Oh, look at that. All them Nazis died. I think they could have done with a little bit more damage in this story, so I think grandpappy should throw some grenades out there. Maybe one in here just to show he's a man. No one can guarantee success in war, but only deserve it. Winston Churchill said that. My grandpappy told me. Oh, movie time. Movie time. Victory. General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. Them Germans don't know how to program anything. Wow, that is terrible. One star rating. I lost one star because of my health. I think I lost the second star because my accuracy was so bad. You just have to spray bullets to get through that level. Oh, well, if I could have made it back up that cliff and grabbed that field surgeon pack, I would have had two stars, which is pretty good in this mission because this is one difficult mission. Those Nazis, I'm not kidding you, until you break down those boxes... They will literally keep coming forever. You can stand back and kill 50,000 ninjas. Ninjas. Nazis. 
What was I saying ninjas? I bet you didn't know that the Nazis used to have ninjas working for them. That's why they allied with Emperor Hirohito of Japan. Exit without saving? Yes. That's how we roll. So that, my friends, is the story of how my grandpa, James Jimmy Patterson, won World War II single-handedly. 63% accuracy. I did not do a very good job of recreating how well he did. If you're interested in learning more about awesome stuff that happened in World War II, I would suggest reading about a man named Audie Murphy. Due to certain legislative constraints, my grandpa wasn't able to get all of the medals he was supposed to. And that's why if you go and look up Audie Murphy, that's A-U-D-I Murphy, he'll be touted as the most decorated soldier from World War II. I think he was just kissing up to people, and that's why Grandpappy didn't get all the awards he was due. On the other hand, awards was not what Grandpa was about. He didn't care about medals. He cared about serving his country and killing him some Germans. So until next time, my name is Scott Scooter Patterson, United States Marine Corps, and this was the story of how my grandfather single-handedly won us World War II. Bye-bye.